going on everybody welcome back we need to talk about domino and a change coming to her and some issues here that go into testing and advertising characters and changing them after they get released into the game based on how they're advertised and stuff because there's a problem here with domino it's not a huge problem per se but it's enough that it kind of annoyed me and it can open the door for legal problems because the character's not working as advertised and they're changing it instead of trying to make it work as advertised. If you don't know by now, there's a problem with Domino. There's actually two problems with Domino and there's a post on Reddit. It's probably now been on Discord as well, but they're changing parts of Domino's kit because they can't get it to work. The big thing is going to be Lady Luck and her passive here. Now, one of the big things about X-Force is that they're supposed to be a very powerful war offense team. And one of the big selling points, especially with Domino, is this right here on spawn reduced speed bar for all enemies by 5%. Now, one of the things that I think a lot of people were hoping was that this is going to be a counter for certain war defense teams that get a lot of boosted speed bar. So Strife with Marauders can get it your mercenaries if you haven't fought mercenaries yet in in war they're basically the energizer bunny they just keep going they just go out the, they just roar out the gate and they're just moving constantly so it was a hope that this could help reduce the effectiveness of a mercenaries team on defense we'll we'll have to see about that but also you know applying offense up to all x-force allies but this reducing the speed bar we what thought was that was going to be a very strong counter for some of these teams out there on war defense the problem is and I, I I wish this was a joke. It's not working properly. And this is probably nothing new to people who are veterans of Marvel Strike Force. Being a newer player, I'm kind of shocked at how often I'm seeing things get become buggy in here. It feels like every week with every release, there's something broken. I believe Black Bolt is still broken. They're supposed to fix him. And I'm seeing problems with him and his burp. Not uh, if something procs the uh, death proof on the enemy. He still doesn't use his burp afterwards. It's there's weird stuff going on with him. I think there's still problems with barrier too. Black Bolt still has issues. That's not fixed. There's other problems here as well. It's kind of getting crazy about how many bugs I'm seeing pop up in this game, which is really surprising for a for a mobile game of this uh, of this level. Of, you know, being this big of an IP, you think they do a little bit more with quality control and testing, but apparently not. Because what's what's really funny is that this is not working the reduction of the speed bar is not working which if they had done any testing with domino should have been caught and this this is where you can tell they're not doing a lot of testing or they're just not doing testing at all or their testing is completely ineffective because that's something that should be very very easily caught i mean that's something you should be able to see right away so they, she is not reducing speed bar for enemies by 5%. So what does this mean? Well, they put out a forum post on this or a Reddit post, probably on the Discord as well. They are changing it. So now she boosts X-Force ally speed bar by 5% and they're going to change the text later on. For something that's like this, that's changing, that's something that kind of need to be a little more communicative, communicative about. Uh, I mean, we have the post here on Reddit. I'm pretty sure some on Discord as well but I haven't seen any mail in game about this. So this is kind of something that's kind of flown on the radar. I don't think a lot of players are exactly aware of what's going on here with Domino. I think that's also kind of going to be a problem for them legally because they're opening themselves up to issues here where they're not communicating this. And if they just change it and now someone who had no communication beforehand sees this, now they could possibly go to someone and be like, hey, they changed how this character works from how she was advertised. I'd like a refund. I'm not saying you guys should get a refund here, but this is kind of the stuff that, lay, that lays that groundwork that could possibly end up giving uh, giving a legal complaint, forcing refunds for players and customers. That's the kind of problem that goes on here. And that's one of those big things that, this is why testing is so important, especially for something like this, is if something like this is broken and you have to change the mechanic because it's not something, something you can fix, which is kind of funny here. They can't fix it, so they're just changing how she works. If this is something you have to do, this is something that need to be done before the character comes out. She's been out for, what, almost a week now, I think? And yeah, I mean, at this point, people have her, they've been using her on war offense, and pretty much our play, the players are the testers. I mean, as as Mobile Gamer says, the master beta testers. I We, we pretty much test this out, and we found out Domino's not working. 
so now Foxnex has to has to change things. Foxnex, you guys gotta do some testing. Like that's silly. The fact that this was not caught beforehand. And also, let's talk about her her other ability here that's causing issues. The uh, the special where she attacks the enemy team with a grenade and everything. I've gotta I've gotta figure out here. Um, yeah, Lady Luck, and then yeah, special fire in the hole. The entire enemy team is stealthed. It will freeze the game. Again, guys, testing. You gotta do some testing here. Quality control, QA stuff. That that stuff that like. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. That's that leaves me a little worried. I'm not I'm not like pissed off or anything, but looking at this, it leaves me a little worried because man, that's uh that's some stuff that should have easily been caught beforehand. Like, how much testing are they doing? Is is my question here, and that's uh. I mean, maybe I'm completely off the mark here. If I am, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the in the like to dislike ratio in the comments. But that feels like something. This feels like stuff that should have been caught, and that's kind of my issue here. Now, on the whole, I don't think this is going to make or break X Force. Honestly, all you're doing with this is that instead of reducing speed bar on enemies by five percent, you're boosting X Force allies' speed bar by five percent. It's not fundamentally changing how the team works your your whole team is basically it's gonna work the same way you're not you're not making things change that much but the question is gonna be like at what point are they gonna have a bug with something like this where like can you imagine if this was supposed to reduce speed bar by like magnitudes more like 20 25 percent even 50 percent can you imagine the uh like if they had to then change that if this was a huge percentage if this is a huge value on uh on her percentage here and then they have to change it that would be a big deal i think i think people will get a little pissed off about that and that's kind of that's kind of what's going on here they're setting themselves up for for legal issues down the road if they keep going this route where they're not testing things and then they're changing things after but you know this also reminds me of another problem we had recently in the game with empowered thanos if you guys didn't know there was a change well it was they say it was a typo under his passive for when he was empowered where he gains plus 100 extra resistance the problem was for the longest time the text in the game said plus 1000 extra resistance and then this wasn't changed until what like a week before ebony maw came out at this point players had invested a lot of time in so this is another one of those times where it was like whoa you guys have got to see this i mean there was envoy videos about this talking about the kit there was there was a lot of hype and overall this didn't change a whole lot this wasn't like a big nerf to thanos it caused some problems but this is also one of those things where it's like that was a typo that sat there for a long time and no one caught it until it was like stealthily changed in the game but even then, there was no notice about it. There was no letters or anything. No one even said anything until someone pulled it up and noticed it and called them out about it. And they're like, oh, yeah, sorry, the typo. That's the kind of stuff you guys have got to communicate. If there's a typo, you guys have to change kits. If there's problems with it, there's communication. Just communicate it. That is a big thing that I think players would welcome a whole lot more. We weren't so much upset about the nerf to the resistance. It was the fact that we didn't find out until someone dug in and found that it had been changed and then and then they came and then foxnex came out and said oh yeah you're right that was that was a typo on our end sorry about that and right now there's a big migration of players from galaxy heroes coming over to marvel strike force and if they start seeing things where you know characters are getting changed after release you've got massive typos you've got bugs those players are going to get a little wary of this game and with iso just around the corner which I'll do a video talking about isolate and my thoughts about that later on with like this new isolate system that very much reeks of mods with galaxy of heroes all of those new players they're gonna get a little, little worried and then to see that there's not a lot of quality control and testing stuff i don't know if those players are gonna stick around this is a prime time for fox S to come in and do some fixing on this game fix your bugs black bolt's still broken that's crazy uh guys you gotta you gotta start doing some testing here but I mean, yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna get crazy. I mean, I'm working, I'm hoarding orbs for Domino anyways. I'm gonna do an or opening video of the Serendipity orbs to see what the drop rate is for her. I have a feeling it's not gonna be too, uh, too high. 
based on the experience from Taskmaster. So I feel it's going to be some very low drop rates for her. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But let me know down below in the comments, what do you guys think about this? Am I off the mark here with Domino and the testing stuff? I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, but I think this is definitely something they should have caught beforehand. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button, share, and subscribe to the channel for more Marvel Strike Force content in the future. As always, guys, I will see you all next time.